Memory is one of the success stories of psychology. And, and what we know is that, one of the things we know is that, that most people have it wrong. A lot of people have a sense of memory that it's like you're holding up your iPhone all day and set to video. And it's video right in your head. And you, in your head just contains video recordings of, of, of event after event after event. Now, a lot of them are hard to find. You forget things. But sometimes you know things for sure. You bring back, I know where I was when the planes hit on 9-11. I know where I was when I proposed to my wife. And those are clear. Other things, maybe a hypnotist could get it out of you. Or, or, or a kind therapist who just asks you the right question. And it'll come flooding back. And the finding from psychology is all of that's utterly, utterly wrong. Um, much of what we experience is never recorded memory. Much of the rest is quickly lost. The rest exists in kind of a fragmentary form. And when we bring it to mind, as if you're telling me a story, as if I asked you, and I'm sure you're going to know, where, where were you when, um, when this happened? You will tell me a good story, but you're just storytelling. You're building from the fragments and, and doing storytelling. And we know that from a few different ways. One way we know that is when you actually test people's memories, when you compare them to the tape, for instance, um, they're grossly wrong. They're grossly comically wrong. There have been cases where, extreme cases, where people have confessed to crimes that they haven't even been in the right country for, but they somehow talked themselves into it. But there's also a lot more milder cases. I tell in the book a story of being being at a party, telling a very funny story of what happened to me. And we're driving home. And my wife, who was very nice not to say this at the party, said, you know, that happened to me, not you. And because I heard the story, I kind of got, it got in my head. 